Hey guys, we're Evan and Caitlin, and today we're going to be making some cone-shaped concrete ring holders. And bowl-shaped. And bowl-shaped! Yeah! They're actually presents for some of our family members, so if you're family, stop watching. If you're not, come along. Come along! To make the mold for the cone-shaped ring holder, they're going to need a template, transparencies, tape, and scissors. And for the bowl-shaped ring holders, you'll need two different sized clear plastic ornaments that come in two halves. And also for this project, we're going to need concrete. And a little bucket to mix in. <laughs> we're going to make the cone-shaped ones first, and we started with these simple templates. It's three different sizes, so we're just going to cut those out. We're gonna put these down here and chase them. Can't we just put it under and then drop? Oh! I like your smarts and brains. You didn't just marry me for my devilishly handsome looks. <laughs> you didn't marry me for my wonderful chasing skills. You're gonna be severely disappointed. It's so wonderful! First step is to apply some tape at the end like that. And the next step is you want to add a little crease right there, right in the middle. Line it up and just pinch it right there. Now that you have your crease, you're gonna use that as a guide to pull this into a rounded cone. Once the first piece of tape is applied, apply the rest down the seam. Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one. But there's like kind of like a, a bulging seam. <laughs> we'll deal with the seam. I think it's okay. And then it might just look kind of cool having a seam. Totally. All right, concrete time. We need to figure out how we're gonna hold these while the concrete's in them. What do we have around here? We could cut holes into something. Cardboard or like a paper plate. Ooh, paper plate. Yeah. yeah. We only have plastic plates. We can use cardboard. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. I know this is excessive, but since we have it. We have a hole saw, so that's what we're gonna use. You could draw circles and cut them out. Perfect. We'll have to be kind of careful with the big ones so they're not top heavy, as long as we're not like stomping around. <laughs> that's always how I like to walk around though. So overpowered, yep, perfect. Shall we mask up? Yeah, <laughs> when you pass the... Uh... We should probably tell people a little bit about concrete if they haven't watched any of our other concrete videos. Let's tell the people about concrete. <laughs> Do you want to tell people about concrete? You probably should follow the ratios on your bag. We just don't have our bag anymore, so we're eyeballing it. A little bit of water goes a long way. The consistency should end up being like sandy pancake batter. So this is the right consistency right there? Kind of like chunky oatmeal. Now we're gonna spoon the concrete into our little cones. This is oh, so satisfying. So, satisfying. <laughs> so the reason we have that inner line on our template is because that's what we're gonna fill up our concrete to, except for Evan, who's already filled past it. Should we just get the like orbital sander and vibrate this whole thing? Where, where is the orbital sander? <laughs> We're gonna get some pieces of wood. Use the weight to hold it in place. I'm not sure how much vibrating we should do. I don't see any air bubbles in there. Good. Because we filled it and then pushed it down. This was so easy. It is time. Do we have to start with this? Or this. Hmm. Well, that one just had a chunk fall off, so let's start with these guys. Yeah, I suck at this. I got this one started for you. <laughs> no. 
So it just slides the rest of the way out. Oh, that so is smooth. cool. Yeah, it's so shiny and nice. Can we keep some for us? No. <laughs> You're beating me. I mean, it's not a race. Unless I win. It's a race. <laughs> <laughs> These tops are not good. They are so not flat. I'm gonna put my safety glasses on for this. I'm just getting plastic shards. I have an idea. <laughs> this is so easy. Riveting. It is helping. Ooh, yeah, that's a good chance. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are we making some progress? Ooh, ooh, ooh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it does look nice. But that took a long time. Like five minutes to the outside now? Oh man. <laughs> oh! That was wonderful! Look at that, it's so smooth! Oh my gosh, that's really pretty! It's so polished and nice. It doesn't feel like cement at all, it feels like plastic. That's crazy. So cool. One thing we do need to fix about this though is the top. Here, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get a close up. That's that's not great. It's it. It's pretty bad. <laughs> Alrighty, so we got the 60 grit sandpaper to really knock some of it off. Progress. Progress. <laughs> So lesson learned, level your concrete. It's not worth all the sanding. It wouldn't have been that much work to just level it from the get-go. We're gonna add a little bit of embellishment with brass gilding paint. While we paint, we wanted to tell you that this video was brought to you by our awesome Patreon supporters. We recently passed a milestone over at Patreon where we are no longer operating at a loss. So thank you guys for all of your support, big and small. It means a lot to us. It helps us make these videos without losing money. So really, really appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>secret to all of our pretty shots. We just have this little piece of marble that we just crop really, <laughs> really creatively. So at first we were thinking these little cones were harder because it took a small amount of time to actually cut out and form the mold. Turns out these guys are more difficult because we had to use the heat gun to remove the mold and then there's a lot of sanding involved. We probably could have made it easy on ourselves. Mm. But, but a lot of lessons learned. We really like how these guys turned out and we might turn them into products soon. Yeah. So they might show up on our Etsy page. They might not. But if we were to do these again, we would probably make a whole bunch of silicone molds and um, make them easier to make. Yeah. Hey, so if you guys would like them, let us know because if you do, we'll, we'll make the molds and we'll put them on our Etsy. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this episode and look forward to seeing you in the next one. Mm. Okay. Time to record the after show. Oh yeah. And if you don't know what that is, check out Patreon.com slash Evan and Caitlin. Bye. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, we're Evan. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. Hey guys. We're going to be making some ring-shaped concrete ring holders. <laughs> some ring-shaped ring holders. <laughs> oh. They're not ring-shaped. Serious. <laughs> serious right now. So damn serious. My face isn't in it, right? No. Because I got chins galore. Chins galore. It's like a really crappy Bond thing. <laughs> 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 Oh, stop.